Okay, so we're getting ready uh, to uh, zip this baby up and uh, you can probably see the, the tack up and the fit up is, is real good because, you know, I'm a novice. I want to make sure everything goes well and uh, I'm going to use a uh, triangular, triangular wave on this uh, Everlast machine I have. It's uh, maybe, uh, you know, kind of a cheater method, but, uh, you know, this aluminum, you can turn it into soup if you overheat it and uh, the metal can drop out on you. So I kind of rely on the triangular wave. Uh, on this lighter aluminum. So that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, it makes a nice narrow bead, uh, which I like too. And uh, I've got the uh, Hertz turned up to about 200 uh, AC frequency. So, you know, it'll sound like a bumblebee. But that's what I'm going for. A, a real defined, uh, penetrating uh, a kind of a bead that doesn't, you know, melt everything on both sides. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll go okay. Uh, I've got uh, 36 inches of filler here. I might be able to make this whole bead. Hopefully I won't dip any uh, in the puddle and uh, have to stop and all that stuff. So. Okay, there it is. Amateur TIG welding. But yeah, it went well. I'll show you. And there's the bead I was going for, uh, you know, just nipping that uh, edge there and you know not going over but getting right up to it and it looks like it did I really dig that triangular wave you know it's it's really helpful to a, a newbie like me with this stuff because like I said this this aluminum if you overheat it uh, it can drop out on you and you know you got a mess 
and that uh, triangular wave uh, really helps uh, really keep the uh, heat constrained. So anyway, that's a unit I'm using. It's a, an Everlast 210 EXT. It's kind of advanced. It's got a little a lot of uh, tricky little features, but uh, once you get on to them, uh, they can be a big help. Okay, so uh, I'll zip all the other seams up and then we'll look at it, alright?